All right, folks, the Gospel World set it off in Las Vegas for the 30th Annual Stellar Awards. We caught up with some of gospel music's biggest and brightest stars on the red carpet. It's getting bigger, it's out here in Vegas, it gets no better than this. Welcome to the Stella Awards 30th anniversary celebration of television's first showcase honoring the best and the brightest in gospel music. I'm excited um, today. I just won my first Stella Award ever last night yes. the video of the year. Yes. Um, I was telling Don Jackson today, I mean, I was a little girl watching the Stella Awards in Rockford, Illinois. Wow. So to be involved and to be here, I'm really, really, really blessed. I'm hanging. <laughs> Enjoying Vegas. Yeah, the Stellas all day. First of all, they kind of It looked like they poured you in the dress. <laughs> You don't talk about my sister in life like that. Don't you see Dr. Bobby Jones and Pastor Sherman see the Well, I'm a part of the Stella Awards, yes, so it brings me yeah. by being a part. Yeah. When I have an honor to give to someone, mm -hmm. the legend the award is in my name and honor, right. so I'm gracious to be here. I am so welcome to, to the Stella Awards because yeah. they really helped my career to win. To be here this year to support all the other artists. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's like a family unit. We're celebrating 30 years of the Stella Award. Yeah. Shout out to Don Jackson, man, and yeah. the team for all your faithfulness and bringing this together every year, man. Thank you. And I'm just the excited Blue Wave yeah. show. The Stellar is featured to be a part of all the festivities that have been on this week. So it's going to be great. What are you wearing? This is uh, the, this is the Sherman suit we have in our pastor's anniversary. <laughs> and why so. are you wearing? Why am I wearing it? Yes, why? Be because it's Shaw. What, what you wear, that's the fashion. So then. I wanted to do something with you. I love it. I've never been able to feel like this. I am wearing a dress by Walter May. Well, I am wearing a dress by designer Millie. Uh, I was actually like, wait, I can get a Millie dress? Praise God. You know, I mean, I'm kind of losing out a little bit. Will and Martin love fashion. So we got to talk really quick. He's always wearing those apricots and stuff. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. tight with them apricots. That's you call them apricots? Apricots. No. Apricots, sir. Never a Right. I don't wear them. See, I'm not there. I'm not fashion right now. What is the most essential part of a man's wardrobe coat? Uh, suit, suit, suit fit. The suit tailor. Oh, you got to be tailored? Watch. It's only the watch. Apricot. Good night. Okay. What and being known. You know, what do you think? I think it's my girl. The greatest accessory to me, to you, that every woman should have. Yes. After salvation. Come on, stop with that. After that, then where do you go? After that, confidence. I'm wearing clothes. What? And shoes. Yes. No socks. Huh? Clean draw. Yes. Hey, Roland, I, hey, I, I was inspired. Yes. Uh, my jacket was inspired by the ascot you be wearing. So I took one where, where does these ascots come from? Uh, I, I don't know what it is. Casket linen. <laughs> Casket linen. From so the took, inside of the casket is where he used to get those ascots from. So I took one of your ascots and went and got the, with the Hancock fabric and got the same material and made a whole suit coat out of it. Would you? <laughs> and, it is terrible. And he be sharp in the sandals, though. Hey, dude. Sleeve back. Anybody wants sleeve back sandals? That means you can barbecue. Oh my God! Shout out to Roller Martin. Uh, I know you're gonna start talking that Texas A&M Alpha by Alpha talk. It's all about the cues and roll tide. It's all about Jesus. Look, I ain't no cues. All right, Roller. We'll holler at you later. We love you, Roller. You ought to be here, man. Some things you shouldn't miss this one up for. If you could describe the Stella Awards. In one word, what would American. Outstanding and phenomenal. Amazing. Dreamy. Mm. Epic. Mm. Awesome. Milestone. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Bye-bye. Yeah. serious. Who in the hell is Ricky Smiley and David Mann to be talking about? You saw what they had on? <laughs> Looking like the 101 Dalmatians that outfit they had on. I know they didn't. No, all I can say, Roland, is except for your line of Adam's Ooh. dress, I can't think of anything that I would put on my body wow. that I just saw. I mean, huh? And it does give a new meaning to the word gospel. Cleo? I, I don't want to see them in church. I, had, I was telling <laughs> the doctor that I had to self-edit for the worst of my life on TV because I don't understand what Jesus is, is inspiring. It looked like mm. a cartoon. 
Says the man who ain't never wore a tie on this show. Oh, I mean, ever. Well, I ain't ever gonna come <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, he had to wear some of those ties. <laughs> I, exactly. All right, just, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. Well, don't miss the Stella Awards Ooh. this Easter Sunday right here on TV One, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. All right, folks. <laughs> got, uh, just let y'all know. All right, come on. Scroll up. Let me go. Coming up, uh, first of all, we got birthdays. We got birthdays. Guys, shout out to our birthdays. Ooh. Actor Dion Richmond, known as Kenny on The Cosby Show. Uh, that boy, 37 years old. I know. He's 27. When you still known as Kenny, Kenny. you ain't done nothing I since. Know. Uh, singer Tracy Braxton, she turns 44. <laughs> Lord, Tracy got regular color hair right there. Normally, you know, she that come on here. No, 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 it's you, not. Y'all don't see when she come on here. Normally, it had it like your outfit, your, your, your shirt, Cleo. Oh. Also, tomorrow, <laughs> singer Leona Lewis turns 30. <laughs> and comedian Ari Spears, he turns 40. Oh, and of course, God. the great. Comedian Eddie Murphy, he turns 54. Also, oh, wow. uh, on this day in the history, in 1855, John Langston becomes the first African-American elected official when he's elected clerk of Brownhelm, Ohio. In 1984, mm -hmm. John Thompson of Georgetown University becomes wow. the first black coach to win an NCAA basketball championship. Mm -hmm. And in 2005, James Bubba Stewart, <laughs> Bubba, becomes the Bubba. first African-American to win a major motocross event. Now, you know... It's a new world when black folks are in motocross. <laughs> hey, we're everywhere. I black know. folks are everywhere. You ain't lying. We all over the joint. All right, folks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you very much, panel. Drew. Thank you. Cleo. And Julian Malvo, but you mean, well, yeah, don't, don't get me started, y'all. She don't was talking a little, started. she was trying to talk a little Alpha Delta trash early. I said, calm down. Trash. You know Alpha's your daddy. Coming up Ooh. on News uh -oh. One Now, Lamont King, Ashley Dibby, and Lorenzo Big Zone Gamble. Hold your mic.